so in india we have lot of chemist outstanding chemist out on outstanding biotechnologist out, outstanding doctors but in india we never have a drug for uh, future similarly in india itself 3000 university they are working the various aspect of chemistry they produce more than 1 lakh molecule per year excellent molecules prepared by even for small industry because lack of screening facilities for tuberculosis after completion of phd number of molecule course will simply dust bin i got your point yes sir so, so so we need some nationalized screening facility to promote the tuberculosis aspect you know you have seen 3 idiot movie all of you, anybody all of you no he has not seen he is too professor you have to first define what is the purpose in life as a nation as i showed you we built in 50s to discover drug india has invented 17 new drugs so far 12 has come from central drug research institute 13 national chemical laboratories and others four has come from pharma companies So we have a record, but we are very clear in 70s, by changing the patent, our objective was to invent cheaper way of making the same drug so that we can bring the benefit to the people faster and cheaper. That's it. With a very limited resource, India has by involvement a policy with our chemists did extraordinary job. Those molecules that you are saying the students made and threw, those molecules were practical training the students got who created 24,000 pharma companies. Our chemical industries do not have a single company whose turnover is 1,000 crore plus. Whereas we have seven pharma companies whose turnover is 1,000 crore plus. Indian. So therefore, please don't underestimate the contribution of the Indian biologists, Indian chemists, Indians, as I showed you, all the drugs that you and I take are contribution of this. New molecular discovery was not an incentive because new molecular intensive came only when 95, we had to sign WTO. We knew 2005, we will, 2005, we will have to follow. So therefore, a new strategy was built to take patent on new molecules. Ten years down the road, I can tell with a lot of pride today that India's largest technology transfer deal, CSIR closed with Institute of Microbial Technology with an American company at $150 million milestone payment plus royalty. That's damn new molecules. But must remember, that is for people like me who has got a stent and again further gets a clot, how to treat those rich guys. If I sell that in a high price, then the drug also will be expensive. Agree, no? So therefore, the policy of the government, policy of the institution, as I keep telling, as a DGCSIR, we are the highest patent holder of drug pharma in India. All patent holder on high tech, we are the highest. According to Thomson and Reuters 2010, CSIR is the most innovative organization high tech academic in India. So what? When Nehruji went on telling the world to America, Obama, Russia, Chikos, Khrushchev, don't make bomb, don't make bomb. Anybody listened? When he went on telling, let us not proliferate, let us not proliferate, nobody listened. We blasted bomb, we made bomb, now we tell, no proliferation, everybody listens. You understand? You are brought into security council because now you have a bomb. So you can talk about open source only when you have patent. Then people listen to you. Otherwise, they will think you are weak. So as I said, 
what was the purpose as and i told you we whole world has failed why are you say india nobody in the world after spending hundreds of billions of dollars not able to give drugs because too much experience professors have been working too much experience scientists have been working that's why we have failed so open source drug discovery is a model where you bring young people to worry about it in a new way so that's why i said our old model hasn't worked for the world not for india india was not there in the picture why should we even next 10 years india can continue to do generic drug and continue to have business it is only after 10 years later we need new molecule next 10 years we don't need so therefore we have to prepare ourselves for the next 10 years so that we can make molecules that others will I completely agree there are facilities but you have to understand these facilities at the university structure national laboratory structure is very difficult to work so we have understood the problem you so we are not going to do this you have an idea it will go to this for example the two molecules that has gone one has gone to jubilant organosis they have all the facilities why should we do Pfizer is not doing all the work. Pfizer sends his work to Jubilant, right? Bristol Myers Squibb gives it to Chem Biotech in Calcutta. So we also do that. Why should I rebuild as a national resource? We will do what OSDT needs to do for tuberculosis. For all other discoveries, we'll use back-end contract research organizations of India on our behalf. i want you all only to make discovery think that's it i don't want you to discover drug i want you to discover lead do you understand new target new lead new way of thinking new way of treatment new way of designing molecule am i right rest indian pharma knows how to take it further they will do the development they will take it to the your job is to make the discovery that's why osdd is open source drug discovery the osdd2 is open source drug development osdd3 is open source drug delivery osdd4 is open source disease diagnostics right your job at this moment is only discovery rest leave it to the rest clear